How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruffle Rallet, and today we're doing a Pokemon fan game showcase review. Yes, we're going to take a look at Pokemon Infinity, a new game. Now we're going to take a look at it in four stages. Stage number one is going to be the gameplay. Stage number two is going to be the features of this game. Stage number three is going to be the overall stuff you can find like the Pokedex, etc. things in the world. So, that's it. Let's get started. All right, so of course we're gonna start from the starting screen. Now the game's UI is actually unique, as you may notice. Hey, wake up. Come on, kid, wake up. We'll be right here with you until you wake up. Their eyes, they're waking up. Be careful, stand back. Can you hear me, child? Yes, I can, good, good. Let's test your memory. Tell me, child, do you remember if you were a boy or a girl? I'm a boy, I see. All right, here it is. So the graphics, as you may notice straight away, just from the gameplay aspect here, is a Gen 4 art style using custom tile sets, as you may see. Do you remember your name? Yes, sir. My name is Ruffle. So this game is played on RPG Maker, or rather, it's using RPG Maker as its basis and Pokemon Essentials. You were brought to a nearby town and laid to rest. You fell back in a sleep for several hours. Alright, well, we've been resting for quite a while. So, the first thing you may notice is the UI. Now, it uses a pretty standard UI that you may have seen before. Now, to do anything, the C button is your A button, the X button on your keyboard is basically your menu button, and the Z button is like your B button, which you can run fast with. As you may notice, we haven't even had to receive any running shoes, we just instantly got this. Ruffle, hey, over here. It's me, Lucy. I was one of the people who helped you out of the forest. I think Professor Wormwood wanted uh, you to stop by when you got up. Okay, follow me, I'll bring you to the lab. And don't mind the mess, the professor can get lost in his books pretty quickly. Something, professor? Yes, thank you. Can you coordinate what we discussed earlier? Absolutely, I have them ready in a jiffy. Thank you, Lucy. Come with me, Ruffle. I've lived here for a long time, Ruffle. I've met hundreds of people. All the characters you could imagine have crossed the path with me here in Eggho. This is my Pokemon. We've had been partners for years. My Pikachu has protected me over and over again on many of our adventures. I believe that in order for you to figure out what you, uh, why you're here and where you came from, you're going to have to tra traverse this island. It wouldn't be wise to do that without a partner of your own. Let us return to the lab. I have three Pokeballs behind me that contain a young, inexperienced Pokemon. Like I said, you're going to be traveling around the island. You're going to need a partner to protect you. Protect you. So please, Ruffle, go ahead and take a look. Pick who you want to be on your side. So as you may notice, this game contains custom form Pokemon. So this is a Bulbasaur. This is the Cactus Bulb Pokemon. So it's a Cactus version of Bulbasaur. Um, you also have Charmander with a Blue Flame, the Flare Lizard Pokemon. And finally we have finally we have Squirtle, which in this case is the Rain Cloud Pokemon. So yeah, kind of a it's interesting amount of options here. Now I'm gonna go for the Rain Cloud Squirtle here. So as you may notice, what's really cool about this game is that you are offered essentially a bunch of unique brand new Pokemon that you've never seen before. So yeah, the introduction in the game is very fast. You should be able to get your Pokemon and get in your journey very quickly. Here, trying to train right here. Alright, we can't go down there. I guess it's a blocked path intentionally to stop us from going that path. All right, let's go up here then, shall we? All right, the Moonstone Path. So, what are some of the biggest features you can find in this game, which is what we're gonna talk about in this segment. Now, some of the biggest features you may find in this game are probably the custom Pokemon, as well as the Fakemon, right? So there's loads of Fakemon you can find and loads of custom Pokemon. I mean, there's literally a Pokemon that I've seen that's just called Seisted, Seisted or rather, and Seisted is basically a psychic fire type, I guess. It's kind of crazy, but yeah, you do have a lot of options for like custom and Pokemon, so if you're a fan of that sort of stuff, you may enjoy it. But on top of that, again, this game features some really beautiful and breathtaking areas that just look fantastic with the custom tile sets. Again, custom tile sets make a big difference because they give the whole game a different feel than what a normal bug standard Pokemon game using the default ones would give you. So you even have an area like this gravesite here, which looks just incredibly cool. And again, the battle menu and all that sort of stuff, when you're actually in a battle, the custom like battleground you're on looks really awesome it is again like custom and different from what you standard see so that again also adds the feeling of the game feeling a little bit more unique and different from most of the other stuff so yeah in terms of features you basically have those things right you've got the custom pokemon you've got the unique tile set you got the overall pretty good flow of the game and yeah it's pretty much the most of the features you'll find in this game unless there's something i've missed which you guys can point out in the comments down below so one of the cool things here is if you talk to this fisherman right here he'll give you fishing bait which you can use i guess to do some fishing yeah let's see what we can get from the bait guys so we got fish bait good bait gourmet bait and secret bait we got fish bait let's see what happens once we do that there it is all right cool so 
Fishing in is a little bit different. Use bait instead. And we got a magic carp in the freaking water. Have a nice view of the ocean. Which, honestly, the views in this game are pretty cool. I like the way they've done this. It's freaking awesome. All right, big guy, you want to battle? Let's go. Must keep moving, otherwise I'm not hiking. Well, that's pretty fair of you, actually, when you say that. So, I, I, I get it. I get it. Hiker Herald, let's go. Man's got a sand shrew. This is perfect for me. Why did I go for tackle first? What is wrong with me? There it is. That's the water gun that we needed. So overall, some of the things you may notice in this game is that, first of all, it's got a bit of an interesting, like, uh, you know, curve in terms of difficulty. You may need to do quite a bit of grinding to make your progress in this, as I've noticed that there are areas where you get a little bit stuck. So keep that in mind. You may get stuck in some areas, as the grinding level needed can be a little bit, you know, on the heavy side, which is why you get the EXP share, right, or the EXP all, which is why you have that to make that job a little bit easier, which is why you should probably catch a lot of Pokemon early on, which I haven't done. Ooh, there's a Nidoran here. This may actually be worthwhile catching, because it is a level 9 one, so it could be really useful to have on the team. We did buy a Quick Balls, which you can buy pretty early on from one of the areas, and uh, yeah, might as well get one, you know, there's Nest Balls as well, and a bunch of other options, and Nidoran is ours now. So one thing you may notice in this game as well is that there are Pokemon in the overworld, so that's a pretty cool little feature that, uh, you know, I think is pretty awesome, hey, you know, they got Pokemon in the grass and Pokemon in the overworld, so you got an Abra and a Mankey over here, which you can actually interact with, you just gotta talk with them and you can actually catch them, similar how to, you know, it works normally. Now here we have a Cottony, which is fair enough. There's also a Sudowoodo hiding over here, which is interesting. I'm not sure if we can maybe interact with it, probably, and then battle it, and then go through into this grass. So there are, like, little hidden areas in this game, which I think is awesome. So yeah, we can interact with the Sudowoodo, we can battle it, and we can easily get ourselves, you know, maybe a free level 15 Sudowoodo here, or we can just get rid of it. So it's really up to what you want to do. And there it is, Sudowoodo is caught pretty easily, and it's level 15, so hey, it's a free Pokemon, might as well. And now this path opens up, and you can see a Shinx over there, which you also can go and catch. Or you can just head down this path and see what's over here, which I seemingly seems to be a, a Slowpoke, a Pokeball, and just a weird little pond. So, hey, you know, anything is possible. This game is pretty old. This old man over here is the one we're looking for, right? So, hey, who are you, old man? You're finally here. Yes, I am. Uh, you're the professor. Uh, hey there, kid. My name is Professor Thorn. I talked to Wormwood a little bit ago. He said you may me be in need of some assistance. Yes, indeed. Well, lucky for you, I'm the smartest there is. So yeah, in terms of the story, it's pretty intriguing, right? You start off kind of lost in the middle of the forest. You don't really know who you are besides your name, and then you kind of know some things about Pokemon. And I guess you just kind of got to figure out your, you know, your true story. How'd you end up on this island? How'd you get here? All that sort of stuff. That's kind of what the story is like in this game. So for the sake of not spoiling the rest of this game, I'm pretty much going to end it right here. So yeah, I'm not going to play through the rest of this because I don't want to spoil it for you guys. You guys can go check this out on Relic Castle. They've got, uh, you know, this whole thing over there. It's Pokemon Infinity. So just search it up. You'll easily find it. So yeah, guys, definitely check out Pokemon Infinity. It's a pretty awesome game in my opinion and definitely worth a look at. It's got unique features to it. It's got a unique style to it, which I really do like. Having like different kind of tile sets and a kind of a unique way of looking like, you know, in a certain way uh, compared to most other Pokemon fan games. So definitely check it out. This is just a demo of the game. So the game is not fully completed yet, but definitely check it out anyways. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Rolf Alex. I'll see you all the next time. Peace out.